everybody. My name is Amy Hughes and I am a water education coordinator at the Boise Watershed. Today on Watershed Kids, we are going to talk about air molecules and how they move around us based on temperature, how hot or cold they are, and then how that ultimately affects the weather that you experience no matter where you live. Air has molecules. Molecules are everywhere, all around us. But what I wanna focus on today is the molecules that are in the air and how they move based on their temperature and how that affects the weather that you might experience, different weather conditions or weather events. For this demonstration, I am going to use water to represent air. I have four jars here, two of which I'm going to fill with cold water and two I will fill with hot water. The cold water I will dye blue to represent cold air and the hot water I will dye red to represent hot air. Now we're ready for our demonstration. On the left side, I have my blue water which represents cold air on the top. Let's start with this side. So I want you guys to observe what happens as I pull the divider out between these two jars. If you'll notice, the colors mixed right away. The cold water immediately sank down and mixed in with the hot water. The reason it did that is because cold air is heavier than hot air. It is denser. The molecules in cold air are closer together, therefore cold air sinks. That's what you saw on this side. On this side, I have hot water, which represents hot air on top, and I have cold water, which represents cold air on the bottom. Let's see what happens on this side when I pull the divider out between the two jars. Now what you'll see is that the water on top still is red. It still has a fair amount of red in it and the bottom is still nice and blue. Now the reason that this happens is because hot air is actually lighter than cold air. The molecules are spread out, therefore hot air rises. A white backdrop actually makes the colors a little easier to identify. So on this side, remember we had our cold air on top, which sank because cold air is heavier. On this side, we had our hot air on top, which rose or stayed the same because hot air is actually lighter than cold air. And this affects weather around us. When the hot and cold air molecules are moving around, you start to feel weather changes. Things like wind can actually occur because of those air molecules moving around us depending on their temperature.